G'day guys, on this episode of Nev's Garage we're going to be building a little outdoor chill area for my wild birds. Now my cat Leopold loves to watch the wild birds, now, he doesn't eat them of course because he's a devout vegan, but he likes to sit in the window and watch them. So this is going to give all the local birds something to hang out and also give Leo something to do through the day. Now I've picked up this hanging bird bath and also this little bird feeder box. So now what's missing is somewhere to mount them. Now I don't particularly want to stand here like this all day. So today we're going to be making a little synthetic tree to hang all this on, put in the ground here, and I reckon both the birds and Leo are going to absolutely love it. So let's get into it. Now all the materials for this project are going to be reclaimed. So it's not really going to cost us anything. These bits of RHS here are off an old workbench that I cut up. These pieces here are off an old weightlifting bench. This is a bit of old exhaust pipe. And this here is a part of an old frame off my old on-car breakaway before I make a proper stand for it. So because I'm going to try and make it look like a bit of a tree, I'm going to keep it pretty rustic. I'm not going to get too emo about cuts being square and tidiness on the fabrication. It's going to be really quick and rough and ready. Um, anyway, so let's get into it. It's going to be great. Okay, so I've got the first pieces prepped. I've prepped the ends, shampered them a bit. I've cut a cap for the top so it doesn't fill up with water. Okay, and while I was prepping these bits, I noticed these drops of resin on here. Now these particular drops of resin, they're from a job I did about 18 years ago when I made the bigger bonnet scoop for my BC5 series Super Liberty RS. And when I saw that, made me remember that job and gave me the warm and fuzzies of how fun it was to do and how well it turned out. So that's why I really like using reflay material because of that history and the memories it has. And the history of this particular piece of material is now going to live on in my backyard being a sanctuary for my local wild birds. And I reckon that's really cool. So alright, with that in mind, let's continue to put this trunk together and see how it comes out. Alright, so there's our trunk, that looks pretty cool, see it's a little bit bent and buckled like trees do. Got the top capped off, the bottom's just open, All right, I reckon it's time for some branches. Alright, so here's some of our branches, so what I've done, I've just cut a scallop out of the middle there, so we can bend it, like that. In the side of a, see a branch kind of shape, a bit, you know, gnarly and stuff. Like that. Cut this one at an angle so it's sort of twisted and everything. And also cut a notch out of this one so it's going to sit sort of sideways on the tree like that. I reckon that's going to look pretty cool. So um, let's start stitching it all together.
is right through main branches. So I've left the, the feet, or what used to be the feet on there, because it's pretty much an end cap. And what I'm going to do later is put the hole in there for the panning accessories. So that'll make that easy. So now um, a couple more branches here. That one's just going to be straight. This is going to be a couple of smaller branches. I'm going to weld them together now. Alright, so I've got all the branches made now. So now let's... Uh, Alright, so I'm going to do some marking now because I need to grind the gal off. Alright, so I'll take the pole out to prep it now. Alright, so I've cleaned off the gal where I'm going to fill it to weld. Giving the other welds a bit of a tidy up. Like I said, I want it to look pretty burly. It's a tree anyway, so not worried if it looks a bit rough. Uh, so let's slap these branches on now. All right, looking a bit like a tree now, hey? So that's all the branches I'm gonna put on it. Now just one more thing I wanna add. bit of pipe on. This is to simulate an old hollow log. Uh, I've cut a notch out of the bottom so I won't fill up with water and back cut the top and obviously deburn it all. So I think I'll just put that sort of about here. Keep on now.
And of course, what would a tree be without some roots to keep it in the ground? So there we go, guys. I reckon uh, she's all fabricated now. Right, so what I'm going to do now is drill some holes in the end of the branches with a hanger. All right, guys. So there it is. All welded up. So what I'm going to do now is just give it a quick clean, um, a, a rough prep for paint. All right, so it's ready for paint. So I'm going to use this old textured metallic. It's silvery gray colored. It's a nice rough texture. So it's going to make it look really kind of, you know, natural looking, not going to be shiny or anything. Um, right, yes, I'm going to do that now. guys so here's our tree it's all been painted now it's a lot tidier hey all right we should go plant it right about there is pretty good just gonna try and Sink it in to the ground a bit. That's in. So we've got a bird bar. Feed a house. And him on there like that. And got a little seed bell. Well, there like that. Now let's top it all up. There we go. Why don't we have a close up look at it all? We got the bird bath dish. And a little seed feeder house. And the seed bell. Now you can see, you know, I've given them these little branches here they can stand on while they're chewing at the bell and uh, yeah so I guess that's it guys there's our fabricated bird sanctuary tree pretty cool all recycled materials no plans no measurements straight off the dome I think that's pretty good Sunday's work so thanks for watching guys, please keep liking, sharing and subscribing, we'll see you next time in Nev's Garage.